What's going on, y'all? This is Justin. In this video, I'm going to show you how to watch movies and TV shows for free on your Fire TV devices. So let's get right to it. The first step is to enable developer options in the settings. Scroll over and select My Fire TV. Then select Developer Options. Make sure that both ADB debugging and apps from unknown sources are turned on. Press the home button on your remote and then go install the downloader app from the Fire TV app store. The downloader app lets you download apps that aren't available in the app store. This is super basic stuff, so if you don't know how to download a regular app, you might as well put your bifocals back on and go pay to watch Mary Poppins because this ain't for you. Once you have the downloader app installed, open it. In the URL section, enter the URL as it's written on the screen and then select Go. This will download an app called File Link that will allow you to download and install all the cool stuff that you'll need. I already have the app installed, so I'm not going to download it again. Just follow the prompts and install it. Open the File Link app and enter this code. Yeah, the one that's pulsating on the screen. This code won't work forever, so if it stops working by the time you see this video, leave a comment and I'll provide you with a new working code. Once you've entered the code, select the continue button. Now be prepared to get a couple pop-up windows. Just dismiss the pop-ups when they appear. You'll only have to do this once. Scroll down to Terrarium TV and select the download button. I'm using a Fire TV stick, so I use the Fire Stick Lite version. So yeah, just select the download button. It's the one with the arrow pointing downward. Once it's finished downloading, select the install button. It looks like a play button. Then scroll down and select install. After it installs, go ahead and select done. Now, using the same process as before, you need to download and install Yes Player. Once Yes Player has been installed, navigate back to the home screen. Press and hold the home button until you see a menu. Now, select Apps. From the Apps menu, select the Terrarium TV app. You'll now get three pop-ups. Select OK on the first one, select Yes Player on the second one, and select Accept on the third one. You'll only have to do this once. And now you're in the game, buddy. It was a little bit of work, but it was worth it. Just go find what you want to watch and select it. I think I'm going to check out the new Mission Impossible movie. Once the movie page opens, Press the play button on your remote. Then select the streaming source that you want to watch and then just select play. Give it some time to load and buffer. Your results may vary based on your internet speed. If it takes forever or it gets real laggy, you may need to choose a source that is a little bit lower resolution. I prefer 720p sources because that's the best balance of quality and stability for my internet speed. And that's it. Enjoy. So that was just another little nugget of nerd gold from your boy Justin. Go ahead and smash that like button, subscribe and follow if you want to see more content like this. Peace.